test the clutch out real quick. How's it going guys? I want to apologize for the wind. It's really windy out right now. But I rushed home. I uh, just got off work. Hopefully in this box will be the headers. We got gas, oil, filter, the belts. And hopefully we'll make this thing run before, uh, before the end of the night. So stick around. Okay guys, it's getting super sketchy around here. That's exactly how long it took me to get these headers to fit. Um, I think I started this, I got off kind of early. Uh, I was probably here at the house at like four. Um, not sure what time it is now, I think it's like five or six. But yeah, it took, um, I was like, I got here way before that. I think I was here at like 3.30. But yeah, it took it took a while. Um, but they're on, uh, it's like I said, just had to, you can kind of see right there. Uh, let's see, that's a perfect example. You can kind of see how that guy is just like not quite lining up. This is actually uh, one of the holes that I'm guessing you don't have to use. But yeah, fitment's kind of crazy on them. But, all right, yeah, we got the, got the engine, transmission, headers on. Everything's ready to be put into the white car. Um, like I said, it's dark, so the footage is going to be kind of crap. But um, once I get the engine in the white car, I'm going to move the red car. Get it up here to the, towards the awning so I'll have like some light. But uh, it's going down. I'm dedicated to get this thing together and on the road. Reinforcements are here. Yay. He didn't give me a hand. We almost got this thing. It's, it's in there. I just got to get it lined up. It's kind of hard to pull the car and push the motor and let it up. Let it down. I don't see something. All right, guys. Want to show you once again why you do not want to buy Flea Bay products. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can make it out, but the header is hitting on the steering right there. So we're going to pull the motor back out, and I'm going to smash it with a really big hammer. So we'll see how that goes. <sighs> But if you can see that, uh, where is that? That is our clearance on the steering rod after many, many hours of hammering, then torching and hammering, and then pry bar and torching and cussing and hammering and huh, finally got the clearance, kind of hammered it back a little bit. I think we'll be good and actually put 
the old test pipes I had, I bolted them to the flange, put the pry bar in it, and then hooked it to my truck right over there with a big strap, which you can kind of see laying on the ground, and heated it and like ratcheted the header over to the motor. So the, the, there's no way this thing would have went without, you know, serious modification. <laughs> Because I bent that one header on the driver's side, you can see the test pipe is at like a really hard angle, it's supposed to be kind of like over here. So the Y, it's way offline. This is pretty difficult. You can see how far offline it is. So that's how much we had to bend that header over. <laughs> to get it to clear even with denning the, hem the header with a hammer and you really can't take any more out of that I mean you need that little bit of clearance it looks like it's touching it but it's not I promise you we got probably uh, let's say a quarter to an yeah I'd say about a quarter quarter inch all the way around so I think what we're gonna have to do or what I'm gonna have to do um, is I'm going to pie cut this thing just like you know cut it cut it cut it cut it cut it not all the way through just about midway of the pipe so just cut 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 that way I can bend it easily and then I'll probably have to cut this flange right here to angle this flange so it'll meet up with this because you know of course if, if we pie cut this and bend this pipe over the flange is going to be way off so they're not going to bolt up and this does have a flex joint and it will probably flex but i don't think it's working it probably this doing that might sh i'm not sure but it might shorten this up and we end up with an issue here but if it does i will just make a flange spacer that's probably what i'll do because <laughs> it's not going to shorten it that much if i don't think so that's what i'm gonna try to do i'm gonna take this test pipe off and then just like i said just a couple little little slits like midway through the pipe just cut 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 that way i can fold the pipe over to get it back facing this way and then i'll just cut the material off the back side over here so i can hammer the flange back and then i'll weld the pipe back to the flange hopefully that will be money okay real quick real quick just want to show you what i got going on so that's what i'm saying like just bunch of little pie cuts like that they're not very pretty but if you you take the pipe and you, you kind of bend it together so spread it out I guess if you want to go the other way I think that might be a better option <laughs> that's it guys all right this is the side where I pie cut and don't judge my welds it was cold I was on the ground it was dark uh, some more excuses. I was welding with a flashlight. Yeah, but it's on there. It's not going to break. At least I hope it doesn't. <laughs> well, we got plenty of room now. So they fit. And uh, now, so as long as you don't mind doing a little bit of work, I guess they're all right. And that's kind of our our next. Oop, hold on. No angle, I guess. That's kind of our next clearing issue right there. You can kind of see how it's going to hit it on this side right here. You got a gap for days. And on this side over here, I don't think there was really any issues. You guys can see it. Well, yep. Not too bad, I don't guess, especially considering it's like $200 for all that. Okay, guys. Let's see if this thing runs. Got the exhaust all finished up, full of coolant. Let's see. It's a good sign. Yay! Wait, why ain't my gauges working? Oh, poop. Tax not working. Okay, we're about to get on the road real quick. None of my gauges are working. I have no idea what that's about. I'll figure that out later. Hold that from the pizza. Let's see if we got the 
driveway without like destroying the thing or rubbing my front bumper or anything. We got one. <laughs> Exhaust there, rubbing on something. Isn't it? I really wish my gauges worked. Gotta figure that out. Oh man! Yeah, the brakes need to be blessed. <laughs> that's, a little, we that's a little sketchy. Oh yeah. shit! We about to be down now. I don't know if the ABS and all that stuff's on or not. A track. Should we do a little track? Should we test the clutch out real quick? Might as well. The track control is probably still on. I don't know how to cut that. It's saying it's off, but we'll try. VDS. Maybe VDC or whatever. Yeah, I tried this. It just says it's still it's saying it's off, but my cluster screwed up, so I don't know. Yeah. There's no light on it. Let's test the clutch out real quick. Brakes. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely need brakes. Why are the brakes that? I thought we bled them pretty good. Dude, no, you didn't bleed the back. We didn't. And you said, oh, I'm just deleting the back. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, she's a ripper though. No one probably want to rip on it too hard so I get it tuned. <laughs> what you looking at? Don't be scaring me now. Don't be scaring me. <laughs> I swear it's like a little puff of smoke that came, straight, of smoke. <laughs> that came straight out the engine. You're scaring me, Donald. That's probably just steam. Oh, she a ripper though, man. Yay. Yay. She's running, guys. We still got plenty of issues to work out. But I'm pumped. I gotta get some wheels for it because like half of these wheels are like trash through like bent or cracked or something. We got some smoke going. I'm pretty sure that's just water cooking off of it. That's pretty much it. We're getting closer. Got some body panels I got to paint, get ready to put back on the car and stuff, but I'm excited. I'm pumped. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later. Okay guys, we're in the Z. We got it run. Let me do that. Okay guys, we're in the Z. We got it running. Maybe not. Hold on. Battery came. <laughs> Fail.